Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first hair tutorial ideas video. So this video was requested so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm just going to show you five really quick five minutes absolute tops mum hairstyles that are my go-to hairstyles. I do not spend long getting ready in the morning but there are days when I do want to look like I've made a slight bit of effort <laughs> and then there are days when I don't care. So there's a mix of hairstyles really to go with each mood. So I'm going to take you through each five and show you how I do it. So the first one I'm going to share with you is my five minute extra quick extra easy space buns. I love space buns but they can be a little bit time consuming if you're in a rush. This is the way I do it. I only need two things and that is these clips. These clips are from H&M. I live in them basically. They're a good size and yeah they're just an essential thing to have in my drawer. So the first thing I'm going to do is part my hair. It doesn't really matter where you part it. I normally go centre if I'm doing buns. So I'm just going to part it all the way down. I'm just going to clip this side out of the way. I'm not using that bit yet. And I'm just going to brush the other side back just so it's all in the direction that I want it to be. And I'm just going to gather it to where I want it to be. I like mine to be quite high but everyone's different. Now when I decide where I want it to be I'm going to twist. That's all. And I'm going to get my finger to help twist the hair around. And I'm going to tuck in the end bit and wherever the end bit was that's where my clip's going to go. I'm just going to do the other side. Okay, so my style number two, that is probably my most frequently used one because it's the quickest and the easiest and most days, like I said earlier, I literally couldn't care less what I look like and if you're in that kind of mood, this is probably the style for you. It's just your classic mum bun. Um, I call it the scrunchy mum bun because I always do my mum bun with a scrunchy. I just think it's easier to do it with a scrunchy and scrunchies are quite pretty so it does kind of look like you've put a slight bit of effort in. But yeah, this is my mum bun scrunchy bun. So I'm going to brush all my hair back. I'm going to brush up as well from the bottom and I'm going to tip my head back as far as it'll go and just gather the hair. I'm not going to gather it straight, I'm not going to worry about things sticking out, I'm just going to gather it and just bunch it on the top of my head really roughly. There we go. So as you saw I did not care about lumps and bumps, I just literally gather it. It's everywhere, it's all over my hand, it's a bit back home to knotty, that's good, that's how we want it to be. I'm just going to get my scrunchie and I'm going to pull it over once and I'm going to pull it over twice and sort of let half the hair out the second time I pull it over and that's it. That's literally it, it's not a work of art by any stretch of the imagination but this is my this is my go-to. I might get a little curvy grip to just gather up the little baby hairs. If you have any baby hair like me since having a baby then these are a godsend. Okay so my next one is another style of bun. As you can tell I like a bun. This one is a little more slick. I call it the just slick back low down bun. So instead of being literally shoved on the top of my head um, it's just a bit more slick and a bit more neat. I am going to use a scrunchie to do this one as well but you wouldn't have to. You could just do it with a clip or just with a normal headband but this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to part my hair, it doesn't matter, matter where you part it, I'm going to go slightly to the side. So I'm just going to brush it all down. Oh, still got that curvy grip in there. See, I'm just going to brush it down like Slick the little hairs as I go. Go behind the ears, just making sure everything's nice and tucked away. I'm going to gather the hair right at the bottom of my head, at the top of my neck. I'm just going to keep going over, just make sure it's nice and slick back. 
of those little runaway bits and I'm gonna twist it like I did with the space buns and just gather it with the scrunchie so I'll turn around so I can show you. Okay, so my next one, onto number four now. There's only two left and the next two are pretty similar to be honest. Um, this one is the one I would do if I was probably putting in the most effort and it requires these. Not necessarily straighteners, you could do this with curling tongs if you prefer. I'm just gonna give my hair a really loose curl. So I find the quickest way to do this is to part my hair halfway. So I'm just gonna gather up half of my hair. I'm using my trusty clip. I'm just gonna clip it at the top. This is how I curl my hair. Now everyone's different, controversial subject. But this is how I do it. I prefer to do it with straighteners. I'm literally just gonna gather a piece shorter than the length of the plates. And I'm gonna pull it down and I twist as I go. So keep twisting, keep twisting. I'm just gonna keep doing that, grab the next piece. This is a rough curl, so I'm not being like extra careful about, just pull the end bit slowly. I'm not being extra careful about how much hair I've picked up, whether it's all the same size bit, whether they cross over, I'm not too bothered about that because that's not really, I'm not going for a perfect look. I'm just going for a nice relaxed sort of look twist as you go, pull the end bit, there we go, so then I'm just going to let down the top, I'm just going to do the top as well. When I have curled everywhere, I always brush through with my tangle teaser. Just makes it look a bit more natural and relaxed. And there we go. There is my casual sort of five minute, and that literally was less than five minutes, quick curl. Just gets rid of the bed hair, basically. So this is done with more of a center parting, and this is my number five. My last tip is you could either go for a, what I consider to be quite a smart sort of center parting look, or if you wanted to mix it up, you could literally just get your tangle teaser or just your fingers if you're me. Brush it aside. And you've got yourself a completely different hairdo just by taking it to the side. I, yeah, I'm bad and I use my fingers to do it, but you could use a brush to do it. Yeah, sometimes I go centre parting, sometimes I go side. Like I said, none of these hairstyles take more than five minutes. They are so quick, they're so easy, and these are my five go-to mummy hairstyles. So I hope this video was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go and give my video a thumbs up, and I will see you lovely people in my next video.